Hello everyone, it's Captain Thief with our second try at that there um, Tinker Silver Challenge. That's right, I keep wanting to call him Merchant, but alas, his name is Tinker. I'll never understand. A Tinker is really someone who invents things, but this guy really is more in the business of buying things. In fact, he never sells things, so it's hard to call him a merchant. He, he only buys things. Until he gets back to town, then he sells them for half price, making him the worst merchant ever. And this challenge, uh, you never get to um, recycle anything, so race has no point at all. So I'm just going to go elf, see what an elf looks like. I'm definitely not taking this really big sword because you can't recycle that either, and it takes up an entire space. So, you know, all four of these items don't make any sense. Slayer 1 kind of makes sense because you use it and get rid of it. I'm thinking about going with this here Perseverance Badge. I mean, it's a small item. It makes the most sense. Granted, the really big sword was helping me a little bit against some of those wraiths, but it was also making it so my get in there did nothing, as well as the entanglement did pretty much nothing. So I didn't really appreciate that too much. I'm sorry. All right, are we are we good to go? Are we done whining about that? Yeah, we're done. We're done talking about that. Mm, cool. Pretty cool, uh, you know, tinker picture there. So let's see what kind of things do we have in here. Oh, the boy sigil. Some of these things I would gladly buy just to recycle. And you know, one of them being the bloody sigil, but guess what? Oh, and speaking of things I can't recycle, I'm not picking up the one fight. In fact, I won't even be picking up the, let me see, because you can't recycle them. They're nice glyphs to have, but I would much rather recycle them. Oh, I'm so glad you got some of my health, jerk. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and take off that overhead. Oh, right, he blinks. I forgot about the blinking. That's okay. That's okay. I wonder if this is something you eat. And I have a feeling that it is. I mean, it wouldn't be something that you could just use over and over and over again. Though that kind of would make sense. I'd probably use it maybe five times. Fifteen layers of curse is not something I can't get rid of. Hmm. Anyway. Um, looking for good shops here. Or really any sort of items we can get. Oh, we found the boss. Okay, that, that's that's good. Another gimmick of this place is that the more enemies you kill, the more the walls encroach. Which is, you know, not a very good thing. Oh, hey, it's you again. Glad of you to drop on by. Uh, we also get an altar. I remember seeing, uh... Who? Green, Green Mother. Earth Mother. Whatever her name is. Um, no. I'm not going to be fighting him yet. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking about going with Earth Mother unless a better opportunity presents itself. And you know, it's not too bad to uncover these guys early since he's only getting four of my health. Grats, dude. Grats. Uh, this is not a small item, and for a 15% bonus damage, I think I can do better. Pissorf does make things interesting. I don't know if Binlor will be here or not, but uh, I'll be able to use it three times. It ought to be doing three damage each, so I could. Put nine damage in on some poor fool. Like, uh, oh yeah, right. As soon as I hit him, he's gonna, he's gonna blink away. Well, I'm gonna hit him again anyway. That worked for me. That worked for me. Um, and this dungeon's artificially smaller too. Isn't that, isn't that great? Okay, so this one's actually kind of hard. You knew that already, didn't you? Didn't you? Um. I think not being able to convert things really makes it difficult. Fine sword I'm interested in, especially at this level. Um, I'm a little, you know, not sure what to do about this guy, though. Because I hit him, he'll blink. I won't be able to finish him off either. I don't have, like, burned or as or anything. So I might have to give this some thought. I mean, the best I can do is probably push him all the way over here and into one wall. Woohoo! One wall is not going to do it. Okay, moving up. We also can turn things into gold, just not items as far as I know. Oh, hey. I really might as well use that here then. Boom. Ah, I, I was really hoping this would be a, a bridge crossing area. But it was not. I guess there's only one bridge crossing area, and it's the zombie. Okay. Well, I, I don't really feel like killing the zombie, to be truthful. So, but I, but I got it. Or maybe I just took the Pissor and push him. I know I just took a huge gamble there by picking up a glyph I can never get rid of. But whatever, just whatever. Let's go ahead and go with this. 
I think an I'm Walt suits my strategy enough that I'm willing to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and, I don't know, I'm all this guy. And, uh, what I'm thinking is I might just entanglement smack. He won't be able to blink, and then entanglement again. It's an interesting thought. It really is. Um, but I'm not really sure if I'm fully invested in the idea yet. Cracked orb. I'm gonna buy it. Use it. Oh, it only worked on... Well, it worked on the guy I was hoping it would work against, so no regrets. Anyway, let's go and pick this up before it disappears. I can't even recycle potions, guys. I can only drink them. So, what am I doing then? Am I gonna smack him and then he'll land in here? Yeah, let's not, let's not even, let's not even think of that. Now, one reason I don't really like plants in here so much is that the walls are gonna be growing in around the place, which means that the plants are gonna be in the way soon. See, he didn't get to work didn't get to warp at all. Maybe I'll just push him into fall. I don't think that'll kill him though, so that'll just be a waste of magic. Let's not even really entertain that idea too much. But this will level me, so maybe I shouldn't even care? Well then, if that's going to be the case, maybe what I ought to do is get hits in on my next quarry. You know, that kind of makes sense to me. Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um... I feel like smacking a wall more than smacking another thrall, though, so, you know, forgive me if, you know, that's the wrong play here. Boom. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, smack him. Now, I don't want to get mana burned, so I'm feeling like another entanglement is in order. But first, let's uh, turn somebody else into stone. Zombies never give any sort of wonderful goodness, so I'm going to, you know... And by wonderful goodness, I'm, of course, talking about blood. I mean, who wouldn't, you know, be able to figure that out from my wording? And now he can't mana burn me, so... Boom. Okay. I only killed two enemies so far. Not counting the ones that turned to stone. And yet, we've already come so far. Hmm. I'm worried about this guy. A bit. A bit. Um, I'm also not really sure what how, when I should start on, on, this, on this guy. I started on him on level 7. I think that might have been a little early, because I had plenty of darkness left. Maybe to try to squeeze another level up out of that. I might have been able to pull it out. I got him down to 150 health left. That was pretty darn good, if I may say so myself. I don't know if I'm all that entranced by green blood. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. I am entranced by, uh, you know, Clarence, though. So, getting as much piety as possible can only help. I'm, only level I'm already level 3. So I don't really feel like fighting, say, a level, uh, a level anything, her, 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 a level, th another level three is what I was getting at. Even though he's weakened, hmm, I'm tempted. I don't really want to waste the bonus XP though, I just, I'll just leave him slowed. Eventually my damage will be enough that I can just one-shot him anyway, it won't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of this, uh, I hate these guys, I really do. Okay, so, would I be able to take this guy on? Maybe if I burned Raz. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I can take off the overhealth with one of these. Uh, that that kind of works. I'll go with it. I'll go with it for now. This time, I'll entertain your um, sick rhymes. I don't know. Let's go ahead and push him through the uh, zombie here. <laughs> In fact, uh, if only that plant wasn't there, this would be great. In fact, I can make the plant not there by wasting some magic. Right? Yeah, cool, I can move plants. Learn something new every day, okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push them... If I can get enough pushes, and let's be honest, I probably won't. Whatever. Then I should be able to you know, just kill his face. And... Oh, thanks for the money. And I'll just kill him. Boom. Level 4, not bad. How about some more? A zombie? Not feeling it for the zombie. I really am not. Zombies just... I think they're enemies that were meant to be killed just by priests. That's how it's feeling, okay? Um, I'm not really sure how to go about doing this, but I want that money. So... I'm going to do that. Even though it encroaches the wall a bit more, as, as a... Tinker, money is my life, and that's just how we're going to go with it. Um, 
Let's see, if I'm not fighting zombies, I don't feel too bad about killing set or stoning a level nine zombie. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And kaboom. Not bad, not bad. You have to admit. Okay. Am I thinking about any more green bloods or vine forms or anything? Not really. Not really. I think I might just be saving it all up for a huge clearance train. Yeah, yeah, that, that's totally a thing. So, if I were going to take on this zombie, boom, heal up a little, boom. Nah, I'm not strong enough. Just not strong enough. So, what are we doing then? I don't really feel like this ritual scroll, but I do. Because, you know, I, I never get it anywhere else. And it gave me five resistances. That's pretty good. The three curses ain't bad. And the plus one max MP isn't bad either. And it's out of my inventory. The most important part of the day. Since I can't recycle anything, I really might as well just compress as soon as I can. But uh, I, I just I just can't be bothered. I'm sorry. So what else are we doing then? Uh, moving down here? Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and push a zombie through there twice. Uh, let's find out what. Uh, it's a pin of mana. Might be worth it. I'm have I have a feeling that it won't. Oh, thanks for stealing my health. Penance. Um, two base damage, one max MP. I can't ever convert it. So, if it were a small item, I would say oh, so definitely. But it's not. This spoon, on the other hand. Ah, uh, you shades are really t starting to you know tick me off. I mean, I can, I can always kill him later. I don't want to kill him now. My e EXP boost is something I take seriously. And yet maybe I'll just kill him to take off that overhealth. Wipe that smile off of his face. Okay, what are we doing then? Uh, we're looking for a level 5. Not him. Actually. Hmm. How much am I doing with the push? I'm doing a pretty good amount. 14. So what I'm thinking about doing... As I'll do this, I'll grab some mana back. Get completely, you know, mocked by one of these annoying wraiths, or what are you guys called? Shades. In fact, okay, that, that, that's, that's quite enough, everybody. That's quite enough. I'm going to go ahead and take off all his overhealth. I, I, I don't put up with that. I, I just don't. Okay. So, if I can please get to fighting the zombie now so let's see yeah I need I need, a, I need a one square please thank you um I could push him in there then he's not coming out let's see this one's gonna be a little difficult it's hard for harder for me to justify doing this now that I'm pushed him forward I I can push him down here but I can't push him here or anywhere it's either up or over or nothing I don't know, I think I might have just failed this one. Not failed the entire run, I mean, just this fight here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, moving on then. Um, I don't mind taking off all your overhealth, jerk. That's how I feel when you do it to me, jerk. Um, man, I would love to kill a level 8 at this level, but I'm not a warlord. Oh, an attack boost, thank you. A level four. No, thank you. Pen and mana spoon. A cursing plant that, you know, Earth Mother will also hate me for destroying. I'm thinking about pushing you through here, and then I can just, you know, squeeze on by here. Um, you. I would really like to kill him. So, whatever damage I do this guy, I should be doing to him too, which is just nine. Ugh. Does he have any physical resistance? No, he doesn't. So, 9 times 3, 27. I might be able to pull this off with an, enfe or an entanglement or whatever afterward. So, you know, let's go ahead and give this a go. Boom. 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 Did that take off 27? That took off 33. And, well, that guy had overhealth, and so did that. Mostly because of the cracked orb. I don't know. So, let's go ahead and hit this guy... Just making sure he doesn't blink, okay? And now we will entanglement, and hopefully, yep, no plants in the way, and then boom! Not bad, walls are starting to get a little out of control, just a bit. This guy's damaged. 
damaged goods. How much damage could I do to him further? 13 times 3? 39? That's not bad. If I could survive a hit from him, that'd make all the difference in the world, but I'm afraid I might just have to let that 20 damage that's currently on him go. Sorry, that's just how it is. Um. Oh, great. The, uh, the... I'm stuck down here. Thanks to Earth Mother. And I hit control, and I can't warp on over to her. See, I proven things I'm proving things so what do I do then well here's something I can do oh, I'm so glad I disabled that click to attack thing I'm gonna use 4 MP to push this thing out of the way yeah maybe what I ought to do oops is I at least get a couple vine forms 8 max M HP is nothing to scoff at and it's not going to help me though because I'd have to drink a potion to make that work and I'm saving all my potions for his face so I don't know I just don't even know give me a moment to think that over I would really like to kill him I really really would I don't know if it'd be worth say uh, using a whole bunch of clearances though so we might just pass on it boom Get another hit in. Yeah. He's, it's not looking too good for me, in other words. So, let's just forget about it. You know, that took long enough for me to do. I know. Whatever. Uh, let's turn somebody into stone. That always makes me feel better. And I think I'll make it... I'm a little worried about turning things over here into stone. Because it's getting crowded, okay? Okay. The walls, the everything. In fact, it's actually a little crowded over here, but these guys are infinitely easier for me to t turn into stone and not even care about it. I think I'll... Uh, I turn him into stone, and then a plant goes right here. Well, if a plant goes right here, there's nothing I can do anyway. So let's just do this. Let's do this thing. And then let's get just 12. I see you there. I don't know if I care, though. Do I care? How much damage do I do to you? Only... 10. Whereas if I was pushing something into him, I can't... Well, the, the plant will explode. I think that's the rules of the game. So I have to push some... You know, I have to push the zombie into him to do extra damage. I guess I might just go with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mistara! Wasn't Mistara here earlier, or was that Jahora? I can't remember. Mistara, does she change things here? The magic, maybe. The flames, that that kind of helps. Uh, what, what's the big thing that I like from her? Not mystic balance, though. That is kind of a nice thing. What I'm thinking of is uh, refreshment. Yes, that's a really nice thing. I might just go for that. Wait, you almost tricked me, Mistara. I can't recycle things in here. Ever. So, I would not get any benefit out of refreshment. How does it feel, Mistar, to be such a jerk? Okay, well, 20. I'm doing 28 here. No, 26. So 20, 20. Leaves him with 34. I'd have to entanglement, which does worry me a bit, as it should pretty much anybody. Uh, if only I had two more max in, in MP, then I could piss off him at least. Well, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. And, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling like grabbing two more squares. And then we're going to smack him. And he got to mad run me, yep, yep, yep. I'll be, I'll be kind of, you know, not too far away from leveling, though. It'll be fine. Please don't block off the way. Thank you so much. Boom. Okay, not bad. He didn't poison me, either. That's not something that haunters do. I don't know what those things are called. They're wraiths, of course. There's a difference between wraiths and shades, Captain G. Captain G, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm doing here. I'm level 5. I can level up Catapult. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, let's explore up here just a bit. And, uh, you know, get enough that maybe we could, like, smack this guy. Well, that'll just take off his overhealth. I could have done that earlier. 
What about him? Did I feel like maybe level up catapulting his face? A little. A little. But not enough. Or maybe I do. Well. I feel like I have a much bigger chance. I'm not sure who I have a bigger chance of taking out. They both hurt pretty bad. They both have... Well, the, the health difference is made up for the fact that this guy has, you know, physical resist, okay? So, I'm only doing, what, 26? And to this guy, I'm doing 37? It, you know, in the end, it, it, it's kind of made up for the fact. I'm going to try and fight the vampire, because this guy's going to blink. That's, that's my main reasoning. So, let's go ahead and kill him. Then we'll come over here and, I don't know, kill this guy. Boom. And we're not sealed off yet, thankfully. I think I might just push him through some walls. Yes. 20 damage for 4 MP is a lot better than 6 MP for just 24 damage. So we're going to do this. And, and it's going to open up the way just a bit. And now that I'm smacking him into something that's not a wall, it's only doing 16. I'll never understand this game, guys. I just never will. Uh, I shouldn't have used that last thing. I'm going to use a mad potion just to get the EXP boost. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna, I can still get back to her, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. So, let's go ahead and hit him. Come over here. In fact, I might just take a clearance early. Hmm, give me a second. Give me a second. I just need three more squares. That won't, well, it might just put me out of his death radius, or his kill radius, rather. So if I get three more squares, he'll have, ba 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 27? 37. 37 more health. So let's go. There's only one thing that can completely ruin this. If I run into something that drains my blood, that completely ruins this plan, let's go for it. I hate you. I hate you so much, but you know I have bigger fish to fry. So let's just go ahead and turn this guy into stone. I I'm out of this guy's death radius. I'm going to have to entanglement. I might have to clearance. Please, please, Earth Mother, just put the plants into neatly stacked blocks where it doesn't matter what happens to them. Okay, level seven, not bad. We also have Pissorf to break through some walls, I guess. Um, punishment. Yeah. Probably did that prematurely, but darn, didn't it feel good. Alright. So, maybe I should go for level 8. Or try to level up to level 8 before I start this whole shebang. Maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking about just smacking him just to take off that over health. And yet, I could really use the resources elsewhere, because there's a lot left to do, guys. There's a lot left to do. Pendant of Health. Uh, it's a nice thing to have in the early game. I'm not so sure I like it in the late game. So this guy doesn't matter for me, thankfully. Smackety, smackety. Oh, as long as he doesn't land any darkness, but you know he will. I know he will. Uh, before we do anything, let's turn something into stone. I could really use bonus EXP. Um... Not sure who to go with here. I'm thinking maybe this guy. It's dangerous. Because, you know, we're blocking off a very bottlenecked area as it is. Something I'm not really too fond of. And I only needed, you know, just two burns worth of, you know, burning. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, yeah, he doesn't warp yet. Now he does. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm so glad that he was able to do that. And really just peeve me off. And then when I go down there, this is the beautiful part. He's going to get to, you know, drain my health just like that. Well, you know what? No. No, I, I, don't, I don't put up with that. <sighs> I'm sorry, but health drainers, I think that just for this challenge, you should have a special compass that tells you where the health drainers are. Yeah. Yeah. We have a little bit of darkness left. It's not looking too good. And, you know, there, there's the alarm to tell me that things aren't looking too good. Alright, alright, that, that's fine with me then. Um, smack. Smack. He 
went in here. And I can just finish him with a burn. Good. We'll do that. Okay. Um, just trying to think. We need 17 more EXP. Let's go ahead and look at everybody that I can at least one shot kill. Uh, am I? I am somewhat trapped. I might as well push this guy through there. There. Open two ways at once. Boom. And I got some gold too. For my trouble. Uh, okay. Um, give me a moment. We're blocked off from here too. All right. Well, we're at level seven. We're about to level up catapult to eight. We have a bit of piety. I wouldn't mind having more for all the clearances. You know, there's not a whole lot of blood for the ultra plantation that we usually tend to do. I'm thinking about this one. I am thinking about it so hard. Uh. I want to see what's in this. Oh, yeah. What's in here? Fake beard. I can't say that would help. Okay, let's grab some health. You know, maybe I feel like taking this guy on. Or maybe I don't. I don't want to talk about it. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. So, let's just have a look at our stores a bit more. Something that would help me one-shot guys more, or maybe I want this pin of mana. Let's go ahead and shrink things, because I can't recycle anyway. It doesn't matter what I shrink. In fact, I, I really would have rather not shrunk that burn your eyes, because now I can't tell how much damage it does at a glance. I have to hover over it now. First world problems. Okay. And we can steal something from a store, but I'm not seeing anything too fantastic. I might just buy this bound sword. Boom. Yay, is he one shotable now? Nope. Close. Dang close. Uh oh right. Grabbing pie. I was like, what did I do? What what did she like? Okay. Oh, well, there's a little bit more up here. There's always a little bit more up there. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna smack this guy just to get rid of the overhealth. At least. And I think I should be good to take out some of these guys at least. Actually, I want to use my burns on him. But, you know, I also want to grab this darkness to heal up. If only I could bottle the MP I have. That would be perfect. Oh well, let's just grab health. Probably doing this wrong. I'm, I'm okay with it. Okay, that's all the darkness. There's no more darkness left. There's probably plenty of shops underneath plants or something. They're hard to see underneath plants for some reason. Um, we're going to go ahead and burn him. But we need to retire his fireball. I think I'm going to, you know, just fight him regularly or something. Depending on what he does. Okay, so now he poisons. I can't say I care. I'm going to smack him. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care if I get poisoned. He is poisonous again. Oh, no. Okay, now he's over there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and try and level. So kill. Oh, crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Forgot about the walls. Oh no. Also, I really ought to buy this, I think. It'll be how it goes. Not sure what I'm going to do with these two things. I think I can convert them. Um, it might just help in the end. Who knows? Who knows? So let's try and kill the biggest fish we can. You know, the ones that we can one-shot the best around. Nothing's ever going to keep us down. we got to be careful about this, though, because we can easily get trapped into this little room just by this or this turning into stone, or even this. And then I'll have to drink a potion just to piss off somebody through a wall, and, you know, shenanigans will happen. So, I feel like it might be this guy. Okay, that up there happened. Um, ah, no walls there, okay. And this will level us. Boom. Okay. Okay. So now we get back to work. Magic attack, death gaze 100%. I'm fine with it. If he's not... If there's nothing against me burning him, I'm going to just smack him. 
Um, another magical attack. Maybe I'll just drink a potion. And smack him again. And save my burns for when he has that 80% physical trait that he sometimes has. Because he's a jerk. <sighs> okay, um... Give me a moment to think this over. Um... I think I'll just... Burn him. And then what's going on over here? Death gaze, 100%. He can't death gaze my burn. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Well, there's only one way to get to him now, and that's through burning. I think I'm going to start clearancing. Uh, did that free up any stores? Not that I can tell. Curse bearer, huh? Just watch for retaliate fireball, Captain. Just watch for retaliate fireball. Okay, there's that physical resist I was telling you about, and, you know talking about like it was the best thing ever. Not entanglement. Clarence. Clarence. That's what we care for. I also can't tell once again if we uncovered anything. This feels like a one run. Her, 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 her. Sorry. Um, I think we might be able to just pull this off. I, I, I really want to. I wanna, I want an entanglement, and then just finish him off with a sword to the face. Be all kind of poetic like that. So that's what we're gonna do. I was gonna, you know, write it off and say, no, we're not gonna do it, because, uh, you know, a, a plant's gonna grow right there or something. And it came pretty close. But it didn't. Did it, Mr. Force? Uh. All right, there we go. We got Tinker Silver Challenge done. Tinker Silver Challenge done. And we have to leave in order to win. So I'm gonna just do that now. Rather than mess around with things, I guess. It's a little dangerous. It's a little too dangerous. Okay. I got hoarder. Didn't convert any items. I wasn't allowed to. Thanks. Jerkish. Challenge. Of jerkish. Okay. Enough complaining. I, I beat it. I, I'm complaining way too much for somebody who just won. Forging ahead. Your victory was well earned, but precious little could be salvaged from the barrow. Purging yourself with the destructive magic it generated required drastic action and the elimination of most of your equipment. No! You head back to camp, wondering about the truth of that stray Jin's word. words. Dang, I didn't read what he said. Something about, you know, the portal to the underworld was already open for a long time. Something along those lines? I don't know. It was in there somewhere. Oh, gee. Ought I throw in things that I'll never see again anyway? Well, I'm liking the pen of mana. If I had the pen of health, I'm I'm considering putting it in here. Change my view, you know. I'm sorry. I, I have two veto slots, and I'm itching to use them. But alas, I I I'm just not sure what to put in there. And Tinker's the one who you know benefits the most from those, because you know you can decide what things you don't want. Um, I think that'll be it. That'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Captain Thief playing Desktop Dungeons, Tinker Sailor Challenge. I will see you guys in the next one.